I'm MarshmallowTwelve.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to retrieve data from a database using PDO. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is, is the blank page. Um, what I have set up here is basically um, similar to the connect connection to a PDO connection to a database using PDO um, tutorial. So I have this up here and I have the database class. Um, right here. Now I've also added an annual data class with nothing in it at the moment but uh, we are going to put some um, um, data in there for well class uh, for annual data um, so um, I'm going to be using um, if you've not guessed it animals as an example if you're using users then um, the table might be called users or members or um, whatever the table's about really. So I've, if I just open up the database, I have a database here called PDO, um, and I have a table called Animals. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. So it contains um, just some data about um, just some animals in in a way. Um, so we're going to get that from the database and um, use it using PDO. Okay. So to start off with, we're just going to build up this animal class. Um, so PHP so class. Um, Animal data. So, like I said, if you're using users, this will probably be called users. Um, and we're going to create three fields. Basically, it's the same fields um, as we got in here. So, we need an ID, a name, and a type. Um, so, it's going to go private um, ID, name, um, and type. Okay, and then we're going to create a constructor here, just so something can run every time we um, call a new um, instantiate a new object from this class. Construct. Okay, and basically in here we're going to pass it a database row, um, and this database row is basically their row in database. Oops, no, I don't want to load Vegas. Uh, Close that. Would you like to cancel the information? Yes. Um, right. Um, okay, so where was we? Um, so if I load up the database here, um, I forgot where it was now. Oh yeah. Um, so basically, when we when we come back into um, this index.php here, and when we create a query to run, it will basically get um, what we want from database. And at, um, at one time, it will pass in one of these rows here. So first, it will pass that row in. Second, it will pass that row in. Um, so we get a, like an array of data for each record in the database. Um, so basically, we're going to have this ID equals um, the DB row, and this is the name of what's in the database now. So we have it as ID. Okay, so we're just going to copy this down twice and change that to name, name, type, and type. Okay, so now we're just going to make some quick, um, quick getters. Public function get animal ID. We're going to return this ID. I'm just going to copy this down and just change ID to name, name, and type, type. Okay, so basically that's all we're going to do. That's basically we've just made a simple class um, that will allow us to store what's in the database um, using minimal, um, you know, code. So that should work. So the next thing we're going to move on to is the database class. Um, now, before we start, we need to create, we need to modify this a slight bit because this is not how it, um, it needs to be set up. So first of all, we're going to create another private um, field here. Uh, we're going to call it con for con connection. And instead of, you can see how I've had that there, that wasn't there in the previous one. If I just open this up. Um, that's basically what it was in the other tutorial um, and that's what I've changed it to now so um, 
bearing note that I forgot to put this back to the original. Um, so that's something you, you need to look out for. I did change that part here. Um, okay, so now we're going to create the method that will get um, um, the will execute a query basically on the database. So we're just going to go public function get animals, and we're going to pass it an SQL statement. Um, so we're going to say statement is equal to this. Um, connection prepare I want to prepare the SQL statement that was passed statement execute so we want to execute that statement on the query and now we're going to get the data in a while loop so we're going to say while row is equal to statement fetch so this is basically going to get each row in the database now all we want to do is store it in a data set array where we're going to store a new animal data um, and uh, passing it that row from the database which you know we talked about earlier and before I just forgot above the class we need to require this animal data PHP class. Okay, that's in there. Good. Um, okay, so now we want to say if if not enter data set. So if we have actually re um, got something from the database, we're going to return the data set. Else, we're just going to return a null value there. Okay, so that's basically that set up, and we can now uh, pass um, some SQL statements into this uh, method, and we should be able to get something back. The required is the right statement. Um, you know, you can't just pass any old statement. It's basically a, a select statement in a way. Um, so back to so into index of PHP. Now what I want to do is come down here, and we're going to data set equals uh, database get animals so I'm going to call that function I'm going to put a select statement in here so we ask your query so select all from animals we'll just do so I'm going to say if if data set so if there is values else we're going to say echo no results found Okay, and now we're just going to loop through each uh, each object in this array and uh, get the animal ID and name it and stuff like that. So we're going to say if uh, for each data set as data, um, I'm just going to echo this in some paragraph tags just to space each record out of it. Um, so I'm going to go echo ID I'm going to concatenate data get animal ID um, and then concatenate a break onto that. Okay so if we just copy this down and change this to name and type we should hopefully now get something out on the page so if we refresh oops so we've, it's finding out um, that we have got five records in database however we're not getting this get animal name get animal ID Okay, let me just see what's up with this. 
Okay, so I found out what it was, and um, you probably just bought it straight away as I was typing it. In the animal class here, um, when we have this constructor here, I've actually spelled construct wrong, I've missed out the S. So let's put that in and refresh, and there we have, we've got the data there um, on the page. So now what I'm going to do is just show you some um, different queries. So if I just copy this down um, and comment that out, so that can get me run. Um, so select all from animals um, where ID is equal to, let's say, 4. So the ID is equal to 4, so I should only print out this one here, Patrick Starfish. So there we go. Um, Let's see what other queries can we do. Um, ID four. Um, where type is equal to fish. So we should hopefully get two results printed out. Now we also have two um, objects in that array now that have a type of equal to fish. Um, so that's basically how to retrieve data from database using PDO. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.